morning class, it's Jamie, and this is Mr. Jamie on campus. We did Mary Poppins last school year, and very few props are so iconic as Mary's parrot head umbrella, perhaps. Maybe second to that would be the magic bag. Now, it's really easy just to order this one, but we found ourselves having to make the magic bag, and I want to show you how we implemented it, and also let you know that this prop is available for someone if they would like to, uh, to use it. We'll be happy to send it to you. Well, we wanted um, the bag to, from a distance, look like hers, but it didn't have to be the exact design. Uh, basically, we wanted it, when she's carrying it, to, to, to be uh, in full shape. And I did that uh, using, when I made the bag itself, I put really thin Luan wooden panels inside. So the sides, back, and the bottom are Luan. Also, in the bottom is a trap door that opens on its own and closes on its own. So all the actor has to do is walk up and situate the bag in the center of the dresser and then the trap door automatically opens and you can put things through it. For example, this plant just simply can be pushed up through it and she'll just grab it. But when you remove the bag, it, you know, there you go. So the trap door in the bottom of the bag is one part. And then of course the trap door in the top of the dresser. Now I just bought this dresser on Craigslist. I found something small. We, uh, all of the drawers, I took the faces off the drawers and glued them onto the front so it's a solid front panel. And that leaves the inside open. Just a solid front panel. This black uh, back is just there so that when it's not being used as a magic box, then it, it looks, and then the bottom is empty. This in combination with a trap door on the top makes the magic work. So, now we're fortunate enough to have a trap door in our floor that we've used for various shows. If, and the only reason we needed it was because we wanted the illusion to uh, show something taller than the combination of the bag and the, and the dresser. So, for example, before the curtain opens, we set the box. And then I have an actor or a tech under the box and it feeds it in. So without the bag there, it's just a matter of feed the hat stand up and then Mary Poppins can just take it. The bottom of the bag is exactly the same height or same dimensions as the top of the dresser. And as long as it's oriented the right direction, all she has to do is make sure that it's square up there. And then the tech just pushes it through and she can grab it. I hope this short video was helpful. If you would like to use this design, please feel free. If you would think that you would like to have these exact props, I'm open to it. Just send me an email to jamie at mrjamie.com and we can talk about it. Main problem might be getting it to you, but uh, you can have it for cheap. I don't want to have to store it. So. If you like uh, what we're doing here, then please click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And click that bell icon so that YouTube will let you know when the next video drops. It's been a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you next time on Mr. Jamie on Campus. If you like classic arcade games like these or old cartridge games like these, then check out my other channel, Mr. Jamie's Arcade. We find them, we fix them, and we save them from a landfill. Tis a just and glorious cause.